Welcome to The Appliance Show. Jonathan here. Cardo's in New York. The Appliance Dude. About to witness the strength of Appliance Street knowledge. Straight out. Um, I'm definitely getting a lot of feedback about these Bosch dishwasher videos. And, um, you know, what I hear on the negative side, uh, people are like, well, I have a Bosch, or I had one, or, or, or um, I don't, uh, you know, I'm on, the, I'm on the forums and they're telling me that the Bosch dishwashers don't dry. Everything comes out wet. Well, let's let's just take that statement and deal with that. They don't dry well. Okay. You ha take a step back. You don't have any stake in the game over here. If somebody asked you what the best dishwashers are, okay, that, that are available, one would probably say it's one of those two German manufacturers, Bosch and he who will not be named on this video blog, the other one from Germany, okay? Um... So for Bosch to be mentioned in that same breath, they must be doing something right. Now, if their dishwashers did not dry or dry well or however you want to basically tailor that term, would they be mentioned as a premier dishwashing line? No, they would not. So here's the scoop. If anybody's telling you that the dishwashers don't dry, they're doing one of two things wrong. Number one, the most obvious choice, because this is what we hear in the showroom all the time when somebody calls up and complains that after buying a Bosch, it's not drying well. Well, you have to put jet dry in it. And I tell all our salespeople, make sure when you close a Bosch dishwasher deal, especially if they're moving from a domestic dishwasher manufacturer like a KitchenAid or a GE or whatever, and they're stepping to a Bosch, it's a different animal. So they have to use jet dry. Number two, the other issue is, we all know, or hopefully, well I know, if you don't know, here's the scoop. Drying the Bosch dishwasher and the other Europeans don't dry in the same fashion as the domestic ones do. Like a KitchenAid, for example. A KitchenAid has a cattle rod at the bottom. It's basically, I mean, it's, you know, do you want to say it's baking your dishes? Whatever. It's a heat source. It's an exposed heat source that's on, that's in your tub, okay? The GEs do it this way. All the domestic guys do it this way. Bosch, the other guys from Europe, they don't do it this way. It's a condensation system of drying. So basically what happens is with the Bosch, once the cycle is over with, there are droplets that are, that are up on top of the tub. If the dishes, after the cycle is over, if the dishes stay in the dishwasher for an extended period of time, those drops that are on the ceiling of the tub will come down and get your dishes moist, wet, whatever. So, you know, I understand that if you do your dishes in the middle of the night, you let that cycle run before you go to bed, and you wake up in the morning, your dishes are probably going to be moist. So, I don't know if you have to alter your your time of doing your dishes or what. So if you actually are seeing that your dishes are coming out somewhat wet, moist, whatever, um, it, it's not because of the Bosch drying system is, is faulty or it's broken or it's, it's this or that. It's just because of the way that you're dealing with the actual dishwasher itself. So, you know, you use your jet dry, take the dishes out, don't let the condensation build up, you know, build up on it, and, uh, and you should be fine.